Welcome back everyone to my let's play of Labyrinth. And we'll start by spinning the wheel, see who we get this time around. And it looks like it will be Isad. Alright, I guess I'll use that floor. I was thinking of doing these, but in case we get another realization, um, I, that will take way too long for one episode, so we'll probably just try to knock them all at the same point. So we're gonna finish these two first. Uh, am I creating anything? Mm, I don't think so. Let me check. I right, know, I think I'm good. Why, hello there, passengers in first class seat. It takes twice the monthly wage of an average person in the nest to afford a seat in this carriage, I hear. That means someone in the back street will have to work hard for at least a year for it. I've always had some pressing questions about the warp trains. For example, what is the point of a first class seat when the trip supposedly only lasts 10 seconds? I guess it's worth the expense after all. You can sleep without a care in the world. All the while, the passengers in the carriages behind us are defenseless against the maddening tide of time, trying to overcome it through the pain of tearing their own flesh, or the contrary of conjoining with one another. I've always wondered what kind of outstanding technology singularities could be to transport people to any platform in 10 seconds, no matter how far it is. And I get the gist of it. After seeing how this train's been going for about 2,000 years, me? What, how am I staying sane, you ask? Well, it's all thanks to him. I wouldn't really call this sane, honestly. It's all thanks to my fellow member of the ensemble that had had Elena, and I've actually been here for only a week or so. Pluto says our consciousness can be preserved in stasis and frozen only when neither, or whatever. He said it's magic and all, and well, I cannot show you, but to trust him. He's my co worker now, all things considered. In any case, I pity the fools taking this train. Thousands of years of pain and suffering, and it's all long gone from their memories when they arrive. They return to their ordinary life like nothing happened. After a status of restoration procedure, isn't that right? I'm not sure if that's really all that worth it. You're gonna forget all of this and will it really be worth putting yourself in storage. Whoa, war trains are awesome. It's kinda expensive, but I can get anywhere in such a short time. It's a wonderful world. We can go everywhere in a blink of an eye. Hearing such remark, they'll blend back into the city life, completely forgetting about the hellscape that took place on this train. The memories of trying to slide their own friends and families as all bands were blurred over time, have been lost themselves long ago. And all that is conveniently erased from their heads. It's astonishing how singular these are so uniformly appalling. And yet, you rich folks are scared of even that, so you dust up in your safe space for those thousand of years. You must have heard a word of advice from some acquaintance of yours, hmm? That you'd be much better taking first class seats, or some of you are already aware of the truth behind warp trains, perhaps. Or they could be just like rich people and be like, I'm gonna get the best seats. <laughs> That'd be ironic in its own right. You decide to take it this train, knowing what will happen. Ah, in case a certain foolhardy individual or two are still believing that this train is broken or malfunctioned, it's not effective. This train is operating as intended. Hmm, I wonder if that's true. You get the hint by now. Don't use strolling around a completely different time space access for some thousand years and when it comes back to reality. Ta-da, it's 10 seconds later. Thank you longer around about through time. Reduce the 10 seconds in real life. Sounds like a perfect ride for people who are in a hurry, doesn't it? What is your real life, though? The one you were living in a few decades ago or the one you've been trapped in for dozens of years? If you like your memories and return to your daily life, would it be a blessing or a curse? Who cares, really? Moving on, my biggest question was this. The box with the corp logo on this so shameless and ridiculously nonchalant on a board. I was wondering what this thing was doing plugged into the train. 
I could only guess is why after a bit of thinking. I'm guessing it like it's makes it everything go faster outside or slows time. Who knows? What are you doing? Quietly muttering lectures to yourself. Your course with words as usual. I'm speaking to a couple of boyers who are probably watching us as we speak. All oh, right, that was the plan. Me stuck in the stream for a week really did take a toll on my focus. Your acting was excellent. Were you an expiring actress in the past? Maybe. Anyway, just carry on with what you're doing. How cold. And it seems this sky's blue gave me has almost expired now. Shall we get started, Bouty fellows? I have no hard feelings for the somewhat average governor back there. But you let make me upset if I'm being honest. Also, oh, this is what it looks like. Looks like he has a dice on his head. The way you try to squirm your way into the comfort with money, like the Magus you are, agitates me beyond reason. That sure is bizarre, isn't it? You spend your hard earned cash for first class tickets to keep yourself safe and sound from the torture of time, but now you're about to suffer something entirely else. I also wonder if they ever like do like some kind of relay or something like hey here's a free first class ticket or something <laughs> this is this person's first time coming here <laughs> uh that'd be a bad day you unfortunately run into the lines of us and me a terrible fate just because she's taking first class seats yeah right who knows one of you might be even be a piss poor sad who just happened to win a ticket oh wow actually i called it <laughs> that makes these choices so mysteriously and profound I personally think there's no such thing as a choice in our lives. Someone is playing the tricks on all us, mischievously and sickly. Sending an endless puppet show, attaching invisible strings to us. Now, shall we get started? It's time for a little puppetry. So, that's the puppeteer, huh? It's as if he were speaking directly to us. If he's part of the Blue River Gang, maybe he knows something about us. Could the Blue Reverberation be focusing on the library then? Possibly. I don't know what he's looking for. But it totally ain't gonna be normal. What else could he be after, other than the books we have? The question would be what kind of books they really want. Anyway, Warp Corp is going to be in big trouble if the disappearance of every passenger in the first class carriage gets known by others. For sure, Divy Corp might get involved with us at this rate. Was this part of the Blue Rebirth plan? It would be intriguing if that were the case. Oh, I bet your enthusiasm will turn into disdain real quick when you actually meet the cuckoo. <laughs> oh. More horrifying stuff. I wonder if Anja can translate this. Yes, who cannot speak. Still, you managed to come to the library through the invitation. That means you must have some sort of consciousness now. Even though you are puppet puppets controlled by the strings above you. This thing looks really freaky. I have no idea what you may be saying. Okay, she can't really understand. Then. If you want to get books as your puppeteer so witches, you can go through that door. Alright, I guess where is it? There he is. I guess we're going with this. I guess it's blunt versus blunt. That honestly uh, works out, I guess. I hope I have something that's kind of scary. And this has a three floor of levels for this, so... Hmm... Oh, I already know how counter dice work. Let's see... Oh, this isn't too bad, I only have one dice. Okay, uh, let's go for the fastest person, which is this person, so... We will use... Sense of Cori, guys, I don't think I can beat that. And then... Oh, this is gonna be tough. I may not be in a good spot, actually. Oh, wait, 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 wait. They have people three? I can beat that. I can't beat this, though. Okay, so that blocks two. We won't worry about these two here. Um. Hmm. I can't wait. This is just gonna look cool. Save it for now and go. Let's go deep. Wait, no. Nah, nah. 
I don't want to use too much energy. Let's use this and then just restore some light. I think as this guy's the slowest. Oh, right. This guy's the gun. I forgot what this guy had. I'll use in this training shots and once I will pick, take the shots and then there's only one left. For this. Restore some light. And I'll take the priest trip. I think that should be good. We'll turn on quick mode. And are we ready? I think so. Alright. Oh. Well, you know what? This isn't gonna be so bad. Wow, they like killed in one turn. Alright, let's see. Four, we can beat that. Seven, we can't beat that. Okay. We can beat that? Yeah, we can. Sweet. Nice. Okay, good. That's fine. Oh, he didn't do anything. Oh well. I can use a gunner to um, one set attack some people here. Oh, let's see what they want here. Probably metallic ringing. Definitely train. I do wonder if any, if there was like a sweep stake. <laughs> like, uh, congrats, you won <laughs> a free train ride. And they're like, oh man, I'm so lucky. And then they just stop on us like, oh no. <laughs> He just shows the worst time to actually, uh, he, he won the, like, at the worst time he could there. Okay, and this guy's way too slow, which it does, it sucks. I'm gonna just attack this person back, and hopefully he doesn't do too much damage to Hunter. Alright, let's see. That didn't stagger it. Oh well. Oof. Ah, that sucks. Okay, ne never mind. This could be a problem. This could be really bad. <laughs> There's three floors of this. And I don't think these guys have any healing. <laughs> At least that guy has three floors of this. Okay, um... Don't want... Lower the value by one, increase by three. That's a bit risky. Get a three win and get haste. Or rhythm. Federation. Every time you see whenever the character with rhythm take, makes a successful attack, a random character gains one rhythm. Okay, this be worth it. Let's try it. I can have him once I attack some of these guys. Alright, we'll just try to hit them really hard. I don't have any healing. Uh, that sucks. And for you... I do help out staggering one of them. Okay, good. Oh, nice. He got both of them. Okay, maybe we'll be okay. Maybe. This floor doesn't have any healing and this guy's at 39 and there's three floors so I'm kinda worried. You get one strength. Oh, it's only 25% chance, right? Ah, uh, that's... That's kinda lame. Alright, um... Deep drag. Deep drag and... Oh, I have a really slow dice go against us, so he get one side blind attack. Please give me 19. Oh well. There we go. So, what's my cap for this floor? Is it like three? How many? You got three floors available, that's at least good.
Oh, these are different, I think. Nimbo pop, but... Eh, Alright. Okay, so we just need... Oh, that is one fast guy. Alright, they should win against us, though. And then I'll just, uh... Him do this. This, uh... If the more decks I have, the better odds I have of triggering the, uh, passive. Should I be using this when I have no healing? I was the worst that could happen. <laughs> uh, I hope I don't regret that soon. Okay, we'll use this. And this guy does need... Actually, he doesn't need healing, but I'm just gonna get some healing just in case. Did I didn't forget... Oh no, what? <laughs> okay, that's better. Oh, that's not good. Oof. Come on. Okay, this could be bad. I'm really worried about using this right now. Okay, power power. I think we're for any speed thing. I should have been. I completely botched this floor. <laughs> Alright, I'm really slow, but you know what? It's fine. It's gonna be fine. Go deep drag. Intense quarry, so I can lower the damage she takes a bit. For you. Let's finish these guys. You can kill this here with yes, this. This guy might need to take a bit more damage though. Um, maybe deep drag and finish him. No stagger? Okay, good. Nice. Please beat that. <laughs> eh, oh well. Seven. Okay, I, 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 it's 619. Has to win, right? Okay, good. <laughs> okay, he has six smokes, so he should take 30% more damage, so this should definitely kill. This guy on the other hand is a problem. And they're focusing the guy who's the lowest and I cannot do anything about it. That's annoying. I just depended on this guy since I'm pretty sure um if I need to go here. Uh let's just hopefully we win. And if we don't, let's just get some more light. And for these two, let's try to kill them. Oh, he had a counter die. That was not good. Alright. That wasn't too bad. Alright, good. Good. And then there was only one. Oh, he got staggered. Nice. Alright. Who needs the light? Everyone's maxed out except this person, so... Now we're all four. Nice. Maybe we'll be okay. That's nice. There's nothing like with a bunch of HP in the last days. Oh, that's not that bad. All right. He has a speed die, so I probably want to kill him last. And he has this really cool page. All right.
However, it makes the puppets like this between these. Hmm. Alright, um. I'll try to kill everyone else first. I think this should be enough to at least do some damage here, and then that. Alright. I know, I don't want to kill him too quickly, right? Hmm. Let's have these actually. I'll take creature here and the drag for this guy. Hopefully, I won't regret this. Alright. Who are we missing? A few people. Um, this is fine. This is mostly done. Let's get slow. Alright. I think I can beat that with Rapid Dormant. Pretty foul person. Oh, that's a big dice. 516. Okay. Different quarry. Am I forgetting anyone? I guess from your GPS too. Oh, wait. Uh. Rescript and. I should do some damage to this person up, up top. Alright. Can the gunner kill this person in one turn? Maybe. No, they can't. Oh well. Oh, they did good stacker damage. Wow, I lost that. Okay. And another one staggered, I think. I think we'll be fine actually. I was quite worried for nothing. Nice. Nice. Okay, good. Uh, seven. Can we beat that? No, we can't. No. Oh, no. He's about to die. I also have plus two. That was like a plus four to the dice boost I still last. Okay. I'm just not gonna survive this. Oh, that killed. Nice job. He's odd. Nice job. Okay. Single ally, all dice, gets one to three power, defense roll one. Huh. Interesting. You know what? Let's just go for it. <laughs> I don't think this could go any worse. Okay. Uh, gunner. Kill this person and. I guess damage this person. I don't really have any more uh, parts here. They're using ones. Let's get some light. I think deep rank could be good here. Yeah, we'll double. No, you know, if we do more than 10, they'll get an extra plus one to their thing. Actually, he's gonna get staggered. He's not gonna be able to use it. Okay, dead. Nice. Also, they all say gee 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 gee. <laughs> Alright, so that's supposed to be like a sound. And. Ah, he's not gonna. Oh, wait, no. Nope. There you go. He's dead. <laughs> Hunter it did not make it. Hey, he actually did that. All right, nice. And down. Damage. Nice job, he said. Oh, he didn't get staggered. But he does have a 9, which means he gets a plus 1 to his die. So this is going to hurt the 1. And it looks like it's going to be Tiffany who's going to get hurt. Maybe she can once I attack it <laughs> and stagger it. Alright, uh, I need more cards. I'm running low here. Can you stagger it, Tiffany? No, you can Wait. He killed it. Nice job. I didn't think you survived there. Alright. Oh, that's one down. And we got a bunch of pages and books. Ah, uh, so. Looks like this will also help Isad, so I wonder if I want to add some things from them. The puppets were conscious somehow, right? They appear so. It could resolve books from them, too. Although they didn't have control over their bodies, they still seem to carry minds of their own. 
and they had to witness their own bodies being tucked along by strings while their senses and feelings were intact. Does that mean... Yes, the puppeteer is a distortion. I, I mean, I thought that was obvious. And those puppets were its byproducts. I've seen several abnormalities that could create underlings for themselves. So I can understand this to be a similar case. Poor folks, working their asses off to be treated like dolls. I could understand their feelings well. After all, I used to be a puppet myself. Can those puppets be freed though? I think the puppets may free them from the attached strings, but they would remain drag dolls. I must wonder if they still want to live in that form. Yeah, fair enough. No, it couldn't be that simple. Oh, that sounds horrible. The floor of social science. The patron librarian Shisad. Oh, this is uh, my favorite floor. Or like, at least my favorite character. Is this the smell of coffee? Hey, there he is. Hey, uh, Roland. Here, why don't you take a comfy seat and drink some coffee? Oh, hi, Jisad. I'm a bit flattered by your hospitality. Yeah, I show some solidarity with a fellow librarian, no? Alright, I guess I'll try my first cup in a while. Ick, is this really coffee? You sure it's not spoiled? Not bad. I made sure to brew high quality Kenja, uh, B, B. Maybe I haven't quite mastered the art of reconstructing materials within the library yet. <laughs> Why don't you try it yourself? If you'll excuse me. It's a perfectly fine cup of fragrant coffee, though. But it's way too bitter. Are you sure this thing is coffee? This is a plan known for being acidic, to be fair. But isn't coffee just supposed to be stuffy, bitter drink you can put sugar in? Say, Roland, are you from the back street? Oh, well, kinda, yeah. Anyway, you gave me the exact same reaction Kali made when I brewed coffee for her. Wait, who's Kali? It's Gibora. Ever heard of the Red Mist? Boy, it's kinda of funny to mind that Legendary Red Mist made the same expression as mine from drinking some coffee. Her face was priceless, alright. You're talking about your first life, right? Yep, back when we were at the laboratory in the outskirts. I guess things were sh shiry back then. The movie was upbeat for a while. It was just a shabby laboratory situated in a corner of the outskirts. But for me, it was cosier than any luxurious place within the city could be. And then tragedy suddenly befell. I wouldn't say it's sudden, it slowly seeped in, rather. I can get that. I sometimes think that maybe tragic events that struck me didn't come out of nowhere after all. I was already getting drenched in it. It was doomed to happen from the beginning. I never really said things from went wrong from the start, though. Just talking about my experience. Anyways, the coffee didn't really suit my taste. But I appreciate it. Let's give this work your best shot. You bet. We still have plenty of time, so let's talk things out at our leisure. I has now found a coffee after trying it for some time, so I'm sure you can eventually come to enjoy it, Roland. Well, here's hoping. And we have this floor. Nice. I'm gonna have to like change. Oh, the floor all right. Long. Oh, look at all the abnormalities that are stacking up now. <laughs> Alright, we have one. Actually, let's burn the books we just got. Where are they? Oh, man, we got a lot. I'm gonna go like barely anything of this. Alright, let's see if we can get anything good. If I can get the golden page, that'd be pretty good for uh, Isad's for. Nice, I got it. Let's just add that in real quick. What do I want to replace? Probably... Honestly... I'll just remove that for this. Oh wait, this is a gunner. Okay. Am I ready for whatever happens next? Book of a puppet. Okay, uh, we have a bunch of these, so we can at least give multiple tries if something goes wrong. Let's see what happens next. In the train. Oh, this guy looks cool. I like the suit. The train has arrived. It will be available in at the terminal in 10 minutes. 
Quick, let's get moving. Let's see what kind of mess it got into this time. I really hope it's anything like last time. All the passengers were sitting still in their seat, clasping their hands together. Oh, sometimes they're going insane. That's actually good. He said that's extremely uncommon occurrence though, right? Yep, they usually do arts and crafts with each other's organs and shit. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. You've probably seen the education of footage, but you better be prepared, newbie. I don't think I'll ever want to take a warp train in my life. Even if they let you forget all about it. No thanks, knowing what happens absolutely kills the deal for me. Yeah, I'd probably not take it either if that was even a choice. Hey, we're all ready. It's time to start the cleanup. Open up. Fresh me, just follow the manual, remember the procedure. This one's pretty typical. Ew, the stench is so strong even with my mask on, it feels like it's basically stinging my nose. Why, why do those, these two don't have masks? Hello, you're still alive, right? Hmm, the flesh is spread thin in an attempt to maximize the surface area. The subject is determined to feel as much pain as possible. This one will be classified as suicidal. Oh, you're pretty good, aren't you? A lot of newbies can help uh, to puke or faint on their first field job, even with the help of educational footage. Yeah, she's from District 23. It's not the like, cannibal district. I can't say I've seen worse, but I'm used to seeing this level of grotesque things. And now, clean up agent. Identify the genomes in your designated carriage and place the passenger back in their seats. Gross, look at that mushy eye still rolling around. I can never get used to this. I wonder how long I'll be doing this work. You said cleanup agents go through a memory erasure procedure and get their retirement fund when they quit, right? Oh, that sounds great, actually. <laughs> you seriously buy that crap? You should know something's up, especially since you're from the back streets. You mean that's a lie? They probably drag you to some dark room and kill you without anyone knowing. Oh. Oh, that's a bummer. Whoops. Don't tell anyone I, I said this. My employee's review results weren't too good this time around. You know, I was just kidding, right? Hmm, maybe I'll consider keeping quiet if you buy me dinner. How about some Gopchang Jeong Gol? Gopchang? You eat beef ripe? Rose, I'm trying to get scared of this newbie. Is that true? Hmm, gotta do some work. Sort of the unknowns and I just gotta put them right in the right seat, correct? Yep, you put them on their seat and they'll be restored good as new. San, Lesty, stop your work immediately. We're going back to the office. What? Passengers have gone missing. Hey, keep it down. We don't want anyone else to hear that, dig. This room is maximum security anyway. It's not just any passenger. The ones in the first class seats have been disappeared. I guess I forgot to tell my Mary. Unless they're still... In the passengers? The higher ups are gonna have a headache over this. First class passenger disappearing is already a significant risk, but we've lost a lot. We lost some time. The tank quota wasn't fulfilled. Orc Corp has never had a single incident ever since it became a wing, hasn't it? Gee, I wonder what went wrong now. The engineers are investigating it for now. Take a look at this. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> Like, hey. I guess this is the guy who fused people together. Maybe. Oh, this might be the camera that only records important moments based on the emotional flux of people nearby. I saw it in an education footage. Uh, what's up with that? Did people merge into one at some point? This guy looks like doctors. They're stitching bodies together so precisely. I pity the cleanup agent who will have to tear them apart. The entity possessed extremely physical strength. 16 of our agents were killed by that thing alone. Love down. They made time for themselves too, huh? The doctor duo must have been anchored to have the town. The townsfolk are all crying since they're gone. I think they get off the train though. Check this out. It's footage of the first class carriage. Who the... Alright. Do you know who I am, Brad? Do you know I'm a board member of U Corp? Who sent you? Who's behind this? Who could it be, I wonder? Must be in the invisible string that 
you are doing all this? You see the flesh of living people and putting strings to them. I guess that guy. Can he contact from the Hana Association? Is that a syndicate or what? It seems to be one they call the puppeteer. Looks like he has quite a reputation in the back streets. What is grade? Urban nightmare. But he lay he just lay down on BIPs. So he'll be exalted to serve city in no time. And here. The one next to him is Blood Red Knight. He's a former star of the city that was shut down some time ago. Wait, is that possible for a star to come back after being shut down? Hell if I know. Why did they take the train we're in charge of and do all that? Most importantly, check this part. The first class passenger, no, puppets as designated by Hannah Association. You can see those puppets sign a piece of paper here, yeah? Oh, I'm surprised they didn't sign. Oh, there they are. They're writing their own names on a gorgeous looking piece of paper. I wonder if that would count. It feels like it'd be forced. I, I guess they already forced people to go to the library, so. And they j just disappeared. Whoa, what? Isn't that a real teleportation? This is the very same kind of paper they signed up on. Um, are you actually gonna... Oh, please give us a break. We're signing this piece of paper as well. This is the so-called invitation from an urban nightmare dub, the library. Uh, I struggled to work like a dog in this circular tree and I barely made it to this wing. It's the order from up top, not sure you're to follow them. We'll bring a few other cleanup agents with us to the library. Ooh, why if we refuse this order? Then we're fired. No. Hmm. <laughs> Feels bad. So it really wasn't a math function. Those crooks at W Corp, they knew everything. Ah, damn it. I took warp train a couple of times before. Don't do you remember anything that happened inside? Nope, not at all. All I can remember is admiring the marvels of modern technology after getting off the train. And look at those employees, filing manuals, making jokes about it, taking off fish of chunks so casually. The body corp was no different, still, it's rather intriguing to see in other wings more the fine secret with my own eyes. I see that everyone is the same. After all, doing detestable things simply because it's their work. They can be apathetic about it because it's suffering inflicting on others is none of their business. It's gonna be sick if we made a book out of this. Imagine if this knowledge leaks into the world, I bet no one will ever want to use W Corp trains anymore. Yeah? Which would make W Corp that much more desperate to retrieve it. I welcome that. I can learn even more about them anyways. Up front as always, our Miss Library Director. And and I take pride in that. For real? Yep, they made a whole ass kingdom on the train one time. That sounds interesting. <laughs> I pointed each other as kings and knights and nobles and whatever. Oh, I wish I could see that. Town is nothing compared to that. Three sounds and schemes were rampant, the kingdom fell into the decline and loyal knights made valiant efforts to save their fallen country. Wow, we <laughs> had like a whole um, uh, season. <laughs> but what happened next? Greetings, your guest. Nafjit shots agents. Hey there, have the puppets been here recently? You mean the puppets made from W Corp first class passengers, correct? How much do you know, lady? They have, of course, they have, of course, and you may retrieve your books so that no one else would learn of that incident. Oh, this is a blackmail. <laughs> if you fail, however, the other guests may obtain the books that hold the secret of warp trains. W Corp would totally be screwed then. We're going in right now. May you find your book in this place. Ah, she's just mine that whole time after the whole thing. <laughs> Alright, we have... Oh, two floors available. Okay, I guess I'll just use that in case everything goes wrong. Mm, these guys don't seem too bad. This is kind of scary though. Alright, um... I wish I had better defense side. <laughs> the work cleanup crew. Alright, um... Let's clean this up and get started. Okay, that isn't too- oh wait. Oh no. 
Can I beat that? Okay, they have feeble. I can maybe beat that. I hope. Yeah, I, I, I can't beat this, can I? I'm gonna get absolutely <laughs> demolished here. I need to kill this guy quickly. This could be a problem. Defense. This. Oh, I got an idea, actually. They become immobilized after it uses page. So I just focus them and then kill them while they're immobilized. I think this should be good. Nice, nice, nice. That went pretty well, actually. All right, so far it's going pretty well. All right, can now nah, we're not gonna beat this, are we? Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Hunter's not having a good day today. Okay, they have plastic smoke and these guys aren't going that insane attack so we should be okay hmm let's do this and for Isad I guess I go here to defend that second attack and for here I'm gonna have to redirect, redirect that they should do it Everyone else focus the person they mobilize and kill them. Um ah, I want another page. Oh, we only got eight. Fame. And that's a good. Alright. Honestly, I was hoping to do way more damage than that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go. D Clash wins. Okay, this. We're gonna go. Um, metallic ranking. I uh, kinda want to provide some things. Oh no. Let's stagger them before Hunter gets absolutely obliterated. Oh, I got it. Okay, maybe I can survive. Maybe Hunter won't die another uh, again in the same episode. Alright, I think it should be good. Okay, good. They went through it. Nice. Okay, good. Okay, perfect. Okay, <laughs> you just need to be 11, Hunter. If you be 11, you may live. No! <laughs> oh, he's gonna die here again. Ah, that's so unlucky. Hmm. Lower value 1 plus 3, which one will be best here? Let's try it. Um, repetitive pattern crew recognition. Oh, I'm about to get whacked here. Um, that's not good. Alright. I guess, let's see if we can do some stagger damage here. I should have an idea. I have an idea that probably will save me here. There you go. Now they're gonna attack this person and they're just gonna take a bunch of one side attacks.
Oh, or we could second them right here. Oh, and they're dead. Never mind. Okay, let's just give um, Isa more light. I can do it. Alright, nice. We may be able to do this with one floor again. Maybe. These people don't have too much crazy things. I think we'll be okay. Alright. Hmm, I guess I should kill this guy back first. Is she doing the insane attack? No, she's not. Good. <laughs> oh, this guy's getting really focused. Oh, <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> I'm just not gonna live. He is faster, so at least he could do some damage before he dies. Okay, uh... There we go. I may have overkilled the guy in the back. <laughs> That's okay, that wasn't too bad. Okay, yeah, he's dead already. Nice, 20. Wow. I think I max there. Oh. I'm just gonna get wailed. Oh, he didn't take too much damage there. That, that's at least good. Enough. Yes. Am I faster than anyone? I guess I'm faster than her. Uh... I guess we'll do this and get some light. Hunter's still alive, so let's make best use of him as we can before he like gets focused again. Defense against this, she's not doing anything for that side, so we'll just get the back line. There we go. Alright. I kind of obviously lose this, but it just matters that we mitigate some damage. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. It wasn't too bad. Oh. Alright. At least they're not focusing Hunter. What's this? Sandal charges to increase dice on pages by 8. Oh, I see. That's gonna hit really hard. Thinking, what do I wanna do here? Uh, let's stop this guy. Last person slower than everyone, so I guess I just have him do chip damage to everyone. There we go. I don't think I want to be hit by this though. Um, do you have anything defensive? Yes, I do. And let's just get some light. Oh wait. 
keep drag. And this. There we go. Oh, he got staggered. That's good. Ouch. What? I missed that. Oh, well. 15. Nice. Okay, one down. It was a bad idea. Rip. Alright, let's see. Oh, this person's not but no one's focusing them, so that's okay. Okay, leg like page. Add some light. We can probably start actually doing damage to everyone here. Actually, nah, no, nah, let's use this and get some light. There we go. Huh, she can't stagger. I was not thinking she would. I may have gotten overkill on her. Maybe. Yep, definitely. Oh man, the <laughs> rookie is the only one survives. I thought I was thinking one strength. Alright. Guess I was weaker. One. Half of the deck. Alright. And I'll just use this and go. Oh, that one's about to get <laughs> hit really, really hard. Okay, they're alive. Surprisingly. And Hunter actually survived this turn, or this uh, chapter. Pardon call for the reception of Warp Cleanup Crew. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I think we'll call it here. This book does become available to the public. Tabby Corp might face closure like Lebal Corp did. Though it will collapse in an entirely different way. I know this is an odd time to ask, but about the plan that took place in Lavalier Corporation. The one that made you go through countless repeats. Was Oak Corp disintegrated part of it too? Uh, Oak Corp's disintegration. In a way, the finale of the plan was to share the enlightenment came from the psycho with the people of the city, sacrificing Oak Corp as a whole. Oak Corp's insane suicide plan succeeded somehow, huh? No, the plan failed spectacularly. Actually, I ruined it. What? But didn't the White Knights and Dark Days happen as a result of it? I never said the plan was a success, now did I? I only said that it was over. What do you exactly mean by ruining it? Remember what I said about my creator, how he birthed me on a whim and then renounced me as when I didn't meet his arbitrary expectation? The sabotage was my mother's little revenge on him for imprisoning me in a million years cycle of reciting the same script over and over again underground, and a small gift for myself. I couldn't bear to see his plan succeed with my two eyes. That means his destruction might not have happened if the plan went through? Perhaps. There's no need for me to care so much about others in the city now. You're right about that. And look at this, looks like next time we're gonna be doing Abramanti after Abramanti after Abramanti. Can't really continue the stories until we finish that, so... I think I'll stop here, we'll do it in this order from Isa to Netzag and all the way down to Keter. Anyhow, thank you for watching and until next time, goodbye.